Hello, I'm Steve Brzezetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in Power Director 16, looking at some of the new tools that CyberLink has added to the program. One of the final stages as you're working on your movie and assembling your clips on the timeline is audio mixing. In other words, you've got audio from your movie, you've got audio from narration sometimes, you've got audio from a music track you've added, and you need to mix the levels of them. Bring down the audio for the music so that you can hear the narration, or bring down the audio for the music so that you can hear the movie, or bring down the audio for the movie so that you can hear the narration. Juggling these things around. Now, most of the tools for doing that are pretty manual. In other words, you add keyframes to raise the and lower the levels of the audio very precisely. I show you how to do that in the book, but there is one automatic tool for doing that. Now this automatic tool has some limitations, but most of what it does is automatic and it does a pretty good job. I have video on video track one, and as you can see from the little uh, waveforms underneath there, there are moments where there is dialogue or sound on the video. I also have added music here on video or an audio track too actually. Now I want to mix this or in other words lower the audio and the music when there is dialogue in the movie. To do that I'm going to select the song that's on the music track and I'm going to go up here to tools and select audio ducking. You don't really need to change any of the settings here it's all fairly automatic. The program is going to look at the dialogue on video track one and whenever there is audio or dialogue or sound on video track one, it's going to lower the level automatically of the audio that's on the music track. So I'm just going to click OK. It's going to do a quick analysis and then it will apply the keyframes automatically. Here you can see if you look down here at the music track, uh, audio keyframes have been added because we've got dialogue up here on my video track. So the program has kind of ducked the music back so that we'll be able to hear and there you can see a little bit later too whenever there is dialogue on the audio track of your movie it's going to lower the level of the music now you can see there's a sensitivity setting back there on the settings because there's some places where the dialogue is very quiet and in those cases it did not apply keyframes but where it was loud enough to register the program automatically set the keyframes or ducked back the music to allow the dialogue to dominate. Now the challenge with this is it does not work with narration, at least that I've found. When I've added narration to the timeline, the program doesn't fade back the music to allow the narration to dominate. That still has to be done manually, and that I think is a kind of a limitation to this tool. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'd like to be wrong because to me, the chief reason you want to bring back music is to allow the narration to dominate, but that seem, doesn't seem to be the case here. It seems to be only applying to audio that is on your video track. But if you want to know how to blend your audio manually, and it is fairly simple to do, uh, you want to check out our tips and tutorials and certainly our books, the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director. Now that's available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.